Dying is a tragedy. It's a dismal reality of human life. Death's inevitability and permanence are difficult to comprehend when you're young, but witnessing the deaths of loved ones makes it real in a heartbeat. Despite our helplessness in the face of a certain fate, humanity has been attempting to avert death since the dawn of time. Modern medicine and digital media have come a long way, yet the fact remains that we will all eventually perish. That is unless one of these strange scientists who claim to have discovered the secret to human immortality turns out to be correct. Will we be able to use technology to cheat death in the near future? Well, let's find out. Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. Number 10 Transfusions of Regenerative Blood Although the concept seems terrible, dare we say vampiric, it has the potential to increase human longevity by 10 to 20 years if not more. Scientists discovered that a protein known as GDF11 is abundant in the blood of young mice but rare in the blood of elderly mice. This protein has been found to help build skeletal muscle and strengthen the heart. Regenerative blood transfusions could become commonplace in the not-too-distant future if they can be replicated and combined with our growing knowledge of blood synthesizing. Number 9. Anti-Aging Supplements A supplement that activates an anti-aging enzyme could also help in increasing lifespans. It's predicted that it can increase human lifetime by up to 15%. One example is Elysium a new pharmaceutical firm whose foundation is an NAD Plus supplement that is believed to slow down the aging process. It is the result of 25 years of research and is currently undergoing human trials, so you may soon see it in a chemist near you. Number 8. Nanobots The minuscule bots could one day be employed as alcoholic capsules that target the ailment directly and give the remedy without damaging the entire body. Some experts believe that in the future, we'll be able to inject microscopic nanoscale robots into our bodies that function as miniature pharmaceutical laboratories. These small robots would be able to detect a problem within your body, convert your body's inherent enzymes and proteins into medicine, and then deliver it to the source of the problem. Imagine never having to deal with sickness again. Nanotechnology has already demonstrated its amazing potential. At the same time, other experts believe that biologically living forever is impossible because our bodies would age anyway. According to research, fixing one problem causes the body to develop another. In our bodies, there is a natural cell cycle, and if good cells are encouraged, cancer cells have a higher chance of growing faster and more violently. Number 7. Existing in the Bodies of Androids People are now attempting to unlock the secrets of the brain in order to be able to upload a person's mind into a computer, allowing them to be free of their biological body. In theory, all of the evidence suggests that this is conceivable. However, it's incredibly difficult at the moment. This is due to the fact that we don't yet have the technology to map the entire human brain. Others, however, argue that the human brain cannot be recreated since all of the emotional aspects that make us human cannot be coded. The fascinating aspect of this entire process is that if the human mind could be digitalized, he would be able to shift between actual and synthetic bodies. 6. Genes Linked to Longevity Scientists studied 152 Spaniards and 752 Japanese centenarians in an attempt to uncover longevity genes. A recent study discovered that these two populations share many gene variants. This is also corroborated by earlier research involving the protein ISW2 and gene therapy in yeast. This revealed that by employing this method, people's lives might be extended by 25%. Number 5. Cryonics Cryonics is an attempt to save lives by freezing people to such low temperatures that they can be kept for decades or centuries until future medical technology can return them to full health. Cryonics may appear to be science fiction, yet it's based on current research. It's a true experiment in every meaning of the word. As previously said, some predict that medical research will improve to the point where persons who have been cryogenically frozen can be brought back to life and their health problems treated within the next decade or two. They could live indefinitely at this stage. The subject is kept frozen in a deep freeze chamber till that time comes. Imagine spending 100 or even 10 years in one of these chambers and then being brought back to life in an uncertain future when everything is conceivable. There is a corporation named Alcora that was created in 1972 where you can become a client of this experiment. And if something bad happens to you, the company will intervene as soon as possible to save your body and mind. Nearly 20 people have signed up to be frozen shortly after death at the Cryonics Institute in Michigan. As of January 2018, 160 patients have been frozen in liquid nitrogen tanks. For the record, Dr. James Bedford, who died in 1967 and is still in this cryonic chamber after 50 years, was the first human ever frozen through cryonics. Patients at cryonics are no longer frozen but rather vitrified. The body is first immersed in an ice bath. The body is then pumped with ice-resistant compounds which take the place of water in the blood. When the body or brain is chilled to a temperature below freezing with nitrogen gas, 
It hardens without generating self-damaging ice in the next stage. Number 4. Gene Therapy According to studies, gene therapy can slow down the biological clock if it can drive cells to express telomerase. Experiments in mice in 2012 were effective, extending their lives by up by 25%. Adult and elderly mice were given gene therapy, which had a rejuvenating effect. The mice lived 24% longer on average, and the mice who were older lived 13% longer. The medication significantly improves the health of the animal and delays the onset of age-related disorders. A DNA-modified virus was used to cure the genes. The virus genes were substituted with telomerase enzyme genes, which play an important role in aging. Telomerase is a protein that repairs the ends of chromosomes and thus delays the biological clock of cells and thus the body. Number 3. 3D Printed Organs 3D printing is rapidly evolving, and it may soon be routinely used to produce replacement body components such as the human heart. A recent breakthrough was made by a UK team who successfully printed replacement corneas and are now helping to advance this technique. If this process can be refined to print new hearts utilizing fat and collagen, donors' life may be extended by decades. Number 2. Organ Cloning Cloning is an alternative to printing organs. It's the last theory and technology on our list of theories and technologies that could help us live longer. Cloning is not a new technology, but it has the potential to be utilized to generate new body parts. Scientists have already succeeded in growing body parts such as ears, bone, and skin, and once this technology is developed for more complicated organs, it will be utilized indefinitely to extend people's lives. Number 1. Artificial Intelligence According to Ray Kurzweil, a futurist who is now working on Google's machine learning project, people will be able to prolong their lives significantly, if not indefinitely, by 2029. He claims that by implanting tiny robots that connect to cloud-based computer networks, we may augment the human brain and give us godlike abilities. The National Science Foundation awarded nearly half a million dollars to the universities of Central Orlando and Illinois, Chicago to fund academics who are trying to figure out how to create a replica version of actual individuals using artificial intelligence, computer imagery, and archiving. Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX and Tesla, has been in the headlines a lot lately talking about how AI is going to ruin the planet, and he's even backed a brain-computer interface called Neuralink. The company is still in its infancy stage and has minimal public exposure. Neuralink is working to develop devices that can be implanted into the human brain to help people improve their memory and interact more directly with computers. Musk told an audience in Dubai that biological intelligence and computer intelligence will likely blend more closely in the future. He went on to say that it's all about bandwidth or the speed of our brain's connection to the digital form of ourselves, particularly output. While most people believe that this type of brain only exists in science fiction, Elon Musk believes that we must become cyborgs or risk losing our relevance. More specifically, Microsoft researchers Gordon Bell and Jim Gray have been studying how people may remember things they've ever heard, and they believe it's already possible. Surprisingly, this information can be stored in less than a terabyte of space. This is primarily due to the necessity for it to be of excellent quality. On the other hand, speech and text recognition technologies are among their most difficult obstacles. So, what are your thoughts on these ways to human immortality? Plus the section below with your thoughts. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and we can't wait to have you back. Do drop this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and push the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our channel. See you soon!